Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to our class, Writing for General Communication 1. I am your lecturer, Mr. Saharno. Today is session 6, and our lesson is about simple and compound sentences. By the way, you know the song I played. I miss you, but I hate you, my girl. I miss you, but I hate you, my girl. The song from Indonesian music legendary band, Slank. Why I played the song, the reason is that I wanted to give you an example of compound sentence. Yeah. I miss you, but I hate you is an example of a compound sentence. Let's discuss the lesson now. First of all, I'd like to review what you understand about words, phrases, clauses, and sentences. Do you know why? Because if you do not know words, phrases, and clauses, you cannot write sentences. Word is a letter or a group of letters that has meaning when it is spoken or written. Pay attention to the examples of words below. In, on, the book, yes, table, mother, simplification, interrelatedness, and many more. A phrase is a group of words which has no finite verb in it and act to complete the sentence for making it meaningful. For example, the table, in the afternoon, an extremely beautiful God's creation, Indonesian delightful iniquitous of newly found archaeological sites. A clause is a group of words containing a subject and predicate and functioning as a member of a complex or compound sentence. Look at the examples. I love you is a clause where I is the subject and love you is the predicate. I hate you is a clause is a clause where I is the subject and hate you is the predicate. When I fall in love is a clause where I is the subject and fall in love is the predicate. I love you is a clause that can stand alone it is called independent clause. Independent clause means a clause that has meaning even though it is not attached to another clause. When I fall in love is a clause that cannot stand alone. If it is not attached, it doesn't have meaning. So the meaning is dependent to other clauses. That type of clause is called dependent clause. Independent clause is a clause that does not depend to other clauses to have meanings. It stand alone. Functions on its own to make a meaningful sentence and look much like a regular sentence. In a sentence, Two independent clauses can be connected by coordinators like in, but, or, so, nor, for, yet. Look at few examples. He is a wise man. I like him. Can I do it? Do it, please. Subject you is hidden. I read the whole story. I miss you. I hate you. Dependent clause. A dependent clause cannot function on its own because it leaves an idea or thought unfinished. It is also called subordinate clause. Dependent clauses help the independent clauses complete the sentence. A dependent clause alone cannot form a complete sentence. The subordinators do the work of connecting the dependent clause to another clause to complete the sentence in each of the dependent clause. First word is a subordinator. Subordinators include relative pronouns, subordinating conjunctions, and noun clause markers. Example, when I was dating Dana, I had an accident. I know the man who stole the watch. He bought a car which was too expensive. I know that he cannot do it. He does not know where he was born. If you don't eat, I won't go. He is a very talented player, though he is out of form. When I was dating Diana is a dependent clause that is attached to an independent clause. I had an accident. If the first clause when I was dating Diana is separated, the clause does not have meaning. It is not independent, but dependent to another clause. In this sentence, it is dependent to another clause. I had an accident. The second example, I know the man who stole the watch. I know the man is an independent clause. And, who stole the watch, is a dependent clause. The first clause I know the man does not depend to another clause to have meaning. Meanwhile, the clause, who stole the watch, does not have meaning by its own. In this case, the clause is attached to I know the man to have a meaning. Now, probably you have a question, is a clause a sentence? The answer is a sentence must be a clause, but a clause is in OT, necessarily a sentence. In the example, when I was dating Diana, is a clause, but in OT, a sentence. A sentence must have a meaning, and, when I was dating Diana, does not have a meaning. However, I had an accident is a clause, and a sentence too, because I had an accident has a meaning. Then what conclusion can you draw? 1. A sentence must have a meaning. It must have a complete thought. 2. A sentence must be a clause, but a clause is not necessarily a sentence. 3. An independent clause is a sentence, but 3. A dependent clause is an OT a sentence. It has to be attached to an independent clause to have a meaning. Now, what is a simple sentence? It is a sentence that has O and L Y when independent clause. A simple sentence does not have any dependent clauses, 
Got it. I miss you is an independent clause. Thus I miss you is a simple sentence. I hate you is an independent clause. Thus, I hate you is a simple sentence. Can we combine the two independent clauses above? I miss you, and another one, I hate you. Yes, you can combine using a coordinator, but the new sentence is I miss you but I hate you. What is the name of the combination? The sentence is called a compound sentence. So what conclusion can you draw? A compound sentence is a sentence that has two or more independent clauses combined using coordinators like A and D. But, wa, noa, yet, so, fwa. So it is clear now. When you see a sentence, you have to attend the class and submit your assignment on time derived from two simple sentences combined using a coordinator A and D to make up a compound sentence. Okay, everyone, it is clear now, isn't it? Your next step to take to internalize your knowledge of simple and compound sentence to make it your writing skill is first to do exercises in simple and compound sentences. Then apply it in your writing practice. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you, Caddy, for assisting me when I was away. Okay, everyone, stay healthy. Bye-bye.